morning folks it's saturday uh 13th of april I keep wanting to say august um yeah what time is it nearly 20 past 10 in the morning i've not done a lot today so far uh, i think we're going out soon i've got to peg some washing out beautiful out there today don't know how warm it is but sun's shining beautiful clear day mm. um but i'm being i've got one of popper Paul cleared out his wardrobe and I had to go through it to uh, claim some hoodies because I, I think I've got like one, got a Gryffindor hoodie and that's it but it gets to the weekends and weeks off and stuff and I just want to wear hoodies and be comfy so, um, waffle. Yes, so we're going to go out in a bit, I think. Paul wants a new shirt, so we're going to go to TK Maxx and the kids want to go up to Poundland, so maybe we'll get some craft stuff for the week off. The paint that I bought went down very well. They had um, a big painting session as soon as we got home yesterday. So we've cleared out all the old paint. The paint cupboard is very full, so that will keep us going for a while. If, uh, judging by how long the other paint lasted, it should do us another good five years or so. Um, but I started a new project um, after my realisation that we needed some ink before I could do the sheet pan. Um, I've ordered the ink, £27, Amazon Prime, good old Amazon Prime, it's coming today. Um, and then my very, very enabling friend, Kim. Hi Kim, yeah, from Kim Crafty's Corner, uh, I'll link up below, um, commented, the alpaca doesn't need anything printing. And I, I didn't realise that the alpaca had no fleece on it, and then thought, of course it hasn't. So, I nearly, well, I had a head done last night. Um, and then I thought, this looks really long. Why does it look so long? I don't know. If it's, so, there we go. That way I think you put the eyes here and here. Um, yeah, turns out I'd started this, and then stopped to I think, get the kids oh no I stopped to play Uno with Jack and Paul and then I got the kids drinks ready for telly time and picked it back up again and I was having so much fun I did another row of bubble stitches than I needed to so I'd got all this done I was just about to gather the stitches and thought this is way too long yeah I got an extra row of bubbles so I had to rip all this out all this out and I think I ended up coming to like here and starting again. So banana blanket does rip out. <laughs> um, I wish I didn't have to find that out, but it does. So I got this back to where it needed to be. I swear you could just do that as a hedgehog. So cute. Um, it's going to be huge, but I love it already. <laughs> so I've done his ears. He's going to be a boy. Um, so ears are done, and then I'll tackle the body later. I think it's going to be a relatively lazy day, which I am thrilled about. Thrilled. To be doing not very much. Uh, I didn't get up till um, quarter past twenty past seven this morning, which is very unusual for me. I didn't even wake up until then. Kids have come downstairs quietly and not woken me up, so that was good. And I said to Paul, I woke up with a headache. It was like I got a hangover, but I had two cups of herbal tea before I went to bed last night. Um, so it wasn't that. <laughs> and he said it was probably all the snoring you were doing. So I assume I kept him awake snoring. I would say I don't snore, but he recorded me. <laughs> Just to prove a point, I think we were still watching telly in bed at that point, and I was snoring. <laughs> Wasn't even properly asleep, but... Can't help it. Uh, so, yeah, I, I don't know. I was very tired last night. Uh, I didn't... Uh, Amber had messaged me. I'm so sorry. Hi, Amber. Um, and I just sobbed out. I was so tired. Hopefully the sleep has helped and a lazy weekend and a week off. I'm so, so excited to be off. Um, yeah, that will sort me out and I'll be all relaxed and go back to work and it will be horrible and busy and I'll be stressed the minute I go back, but you know, it's what it is. So I'm going to leave it here and go and peg the washing out. There's loads of it because they brought the PE kits home. So I've got to go and see if I've got enough pegs. I need to buy pegs today. That's how exciting my life is. Um, because Jack has a blackout blind in his bedroom and it's like suckered, um, sucker pads. It's really good. If I can find out who it's by, where we bought it from, I'll link it below because it is handy. 
Um, Tevin's got black curtains in his room. I'm not trying to make goth children, honestly. They were Paul's sisters at the old house. And she was. She says, oh, I'm going to throw them away or whatever. I was like, well, leave them there. Because the, when we initially moved in, it was a games room for Paul. And then we had Jack and it turned into a, another bedroom. But it keep, they keep the light out quite well. And they're not, you know, blackout curtains or anything. Oh, this is waffly. I do apologise. Um, but yeah, Jack's got Tobin's old Mario curtains. And they have got a blackout lining, but it. The, they don't go far enough down to completely block the light um, and Paul likes to sleep in like pitch black so he assumes everyone else does I quite like going to bed in the summer where you could still it was still light um, but he's not a fan so Jack has blackout blind oh, I'm so sorry um, but to save taking it all the way down we like peg it up in the day and they keep nicking my pegs so <laughs> my peg uh, bag is is seems to get emptier all the time because they they use my pegs for everything so i'm going to go buy some new pegs exciting times six minutes of waffle i do apologize um i will be back later to talk at you some more because you know why not uh hopefully i'll have some progress on the alpaca's body i will get some ink so i can print my uh fleece page for the sheep I'm so excited I, I love this stuff the I just said to Paul, I said Valerie works, uh, Valerie of Old Soul Crochet, hello, works pretty much exclusively in Bernard Blanket Yarn. I was like, imagine how big her stash is with, you know, big 300 gram balls everywhere. Um, yeah. Hopefully her husband's more understanding about her yarn stash than mine is. <laughs> anyway, I will talk to you later um, and I'll let you know what we get up to. Bye guys. Hi folks, I'm back. It's now half past three in the afternoon. Uh, we went for a wander around uh, the retail park uh, this morning and Jack came out quite well. Um, he got a new pair of trainers, a new jacket and then went and spent his pocket money or the majority of it in Poundland. What did he buy? Zomlings, a pair of handcuffs and a tub of like pick and mix sweets. Tobin bought himself pick and mix sweets and some cans of pop and some zomblings. And I bought uh, I bought two things of chocolate, like Toblerone thingies, but not Toblerone, what are they called? Twin Peaks or something. Because I thought, oh, wonder what they taste like. They're okay, nothing special, not as nice as Toblerone, but you know. Um, and then I took them for McDonald's for dinner, because I'm nice like that. I didn't buy myself any, well, other than the two bits of chocolate. Didn't buy anything, didn't spend any of my birthday money. <laughs> no, I don't know, nothing, just nothing took my fancy. Um, but I'm glad Jack got some new shoes. He had some like high tops and they were nice and we bought him, um, get some laces off Amazon and they're not laces, they're like um, rubber straps or things that go across your shoes and hook in through the shoelace holes. So they don't have to worry about tying the shoes. Um, Jack can tie his shoes, he's brilliant at it, but just for a speed of getting them on and off. So he had these like laces in um, his high tops, but then the tongue kept turning around. So I stitched the tongue in place, but it started to come apart. So they needed sorting out, but they're getting a bit ratty because he tends to wreck his shoes. Uh, more so than Tobin, he's, he's much rougher on him. So I've got some nice, really nice new ones, and he's very pleased. And TK Maxx are good for shoes, but they're very hit and miss, which is the, you know, I was there last week and they didn't have those shoes then. Um, I've bought plenty of shoes from there, really nice boots, and I've got some like deck shoes that I wear in the summer, I just have them by the back door, and they're brilliant, I love them. I've about killed them though. Jack, I must be like Jack with shoes, or Jack's like me with shoes, we tend to kill him a bit. Paul's probably got shoes from when we met. <laughs> that is still okay. Me? Ew. Um, and then he got like a little baseball kind of jacket because he needs a thin coat. So yeah, he got all the things. Um, Paul got himself some new trousers. That's it really. Tevin did look at coats, but nothing uh, nothing fit quite right. Is someone going to come push something through the door? Well, there's an election soon, so everyone's... 
putting rubbish through the door. Don't really want to vote for any of them because they all talk a load of rubbish. Grr. Anyway, shall I show you what I've been doing? Look, the alpaca has a body. I've got, I uh, just sent Amber a picture and a, a message. I was like, I have sore bobble stitch fingers. How cool is this? It's so clever, Val. So clever. Did I call you Val? Valerie. You better not call you Val because I don't know if you like it. It's not for me to give you a shortened name. It's, the thing is, if you've got a long name, people shorten it. If you've got a short name, people lengthen it. The amount of people that insist on calling me Kimberly. It's not Kimberly. Don't call me Kimberly. <laughs> it's just Kimberly. Like, Isn't it your name? No, it's not my name. Don't, don't call it me. So I have uh, Kimbo, uh, Kim Bob. My friend calls me Kim Bob. She's allowed to, that's fine. Kimmy, Kimmy, I'm Auntie Kimmy, um, which is fine. Makes me think of, um, is it called My Best Friend's Wedding? Uh, Cameron Diaz, she's called Kimmy in it. And there's a bit where she's in, Julia Roberts is looking for her in the toilet. And she she was, keeps shouting Kimmy and this is an old woman going, Kimmy. <laughs> and I used to get the South Park, Timmy, my sisters used to shout, Kimmy! <laughs> but, um, yeah, I, I, I generally answer to everything, apart from Kimberly. That just, I don't know. It, it never sat well with me. I don't know why. I've not particularly got anything against the name. It's just, it's not my name. <sighs> Rant, I'm so sorry. I've been on my own, because Paul's in bed, or he's gone for a lie down, or just to sit in a dark room. He broke um, the tooth they did a root canal on last week. Part of it is broken, and I don't know if that's got anything to do with it, but he's got a really bad headache today, and he's, I don't know, he says it, it keeps ever since, every now and then tasting chemicals, so he really needs to go to the dentist, but his dentist doesn't work till Wednesday. That man and his teeth, honestly. Anywho, so let's focus on the nice, squishy, bobble, stitchy crochet. Uh, I'm not far off finishing the body, I just thought I'd have a little break and film. Um, now, before he appears, before he rises from the pit, um, I've heard him talking, so I think he's awake. As I've been on the phone to somebody. Um, but yes, so I like it. It's not taking too long to do. Uh, I have had to rip back a few rows because I got my stitch count wrong. I was like, huh? I'm missing a bubble. So that is totally my fault, not the patterns uh, at all. So got. The head, oh, it's gonna be a, a big boy, isn't he? Let's go on like that. So cute. Um, let's have a look. Shoot. The ball. It's going down, it's going down. So I'm gonna finish up the body. Um, the kids are painting in the dining room. <clears throat> so I'm gonna go and see what they're doing in a second. Tobin's been on the phone to his friend. I've been playing, I've been playing Fortnite. But then I heard him say, oh, uh, his friend Archie, he was like, Archie, I'm going to go now because I want to go and paint with my bro. <laughs> so I thought it was quite sweet. So I'm going to go see what... I thought I something ringing then. Uh, I'm going to go see what they're doing. Oh, my ink came. Very exciting. I really hope that's the right one. I did check several times. Yeah, 3650. That's the one we've got. Canon Pixma printer. Um, doesn't help that the ink that we reordered, the correct ink, Paul ordered it, so it's not on my Amazon anywhere. I was like, no. So I did, there's a thing, there's a feature on Amazon where you can, um, it says, make sure this will is compatible with your printer and you type in your like, model number while you're on, like this items page. And it says, yes, this will work. I'm like, oh, thank you, Amazon. So that came a couple of hours ago, I think, actually. So it's all good. I'm ready to uh, print my fleece page for the sheep. Um, but I'm going to finish the alpaca first because he's gorgeous. So thank you, Kim, for the um, enabling and the prodding. Do the alpaca. Make the alpaca. Making the alpaca. <laughs> uh, I need to go and get some brown yarn, actually, because I've not done the eyes yet. But I wanted to go in there earlier, but the kids were filming a YouTube video opening their zomblings, so I thought they don't need me in the background. But I don't know what they're doing with that, whether they'll ask Paul to put it on the Mac later and uh, upload it. So Paul will actually get to do a video. 
He needs uh, excuses to go and play on the Mac or reasons he can play. It. Obviously, he can go on it whenever he wants. But he's like, I don't really have a reason for having this Mac. I might find one, make something. He's like, no, no. And he's got a new game now on his PlayStation, so I, I dare say I'll be playing that rather than be on the Mac. Anywho, I'm going to stop waffling at you. I'm going to go and refill my giant mug of tea. Because it's empty, and that is never a good thing. I swear I could just have it on tap. Mm -hmm. um, yes, it, it remains chip free, this mug, so... I haven't, you know, the curse of Kim hasn't struck it or anything with it, so it must have been. Um, I can't see that there was anything I did to the other one, because surely I'd have done something to this one by now. <laughs> um, yeah, I'm going to head off. I will carry on working on this. Make sure the kids aren't painting the walls. Um, and I will catch up with you tomorrow. So take care. I hope you've had a good Saturday. And I will see you tomorrow. Bye guys.